command table. I have we got audio. Yes, we have. Hello, everybody. Welcome. As you can see, guys, uh, we have got we have got an article in front of us. But before we get started, guys, in this stream, we're going to be doing another class twenty run in this stream. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing in this stream today, and that's what we're going to be doing. So yeah, if you enjoy this sort of content, guys, feel free to subscribe, feel free to the, <coughs> hit the notification button to get notified when my videos and streams come live. Also, feel free to hit the um, sorry, the like button if you enjoy what you see, and feel free to hit the share button as well. I'll link Train Simmer 2 down below, I'll link my Twitch and my Discord, and any DLCs that I use, I'll link them down below as well. But yeah, we're going to be looking at an article, and I'm going to do a, a scenario, a Creators Club scenario afterwards. So the uh, article we're going to be looking at is the Lozen to Suri introduction of the SBB RABE 523EMU. But before we look at that article guys, let's get the Railfan TV uh, schedule out of the way first. So starting on Wednesday the 16th of March, there's a train sim world throughout the ages stream with Matt and Nat. Thursday the 17th of March is the Harlem Line Let's Play because the Harlem Line comes out on the 17th of March guys where Matt and JD. Friday the 18th of March is the f preview look at Le Zen to Sussi with Matt, Jasper and Nat. And then the Sunday the 20th of March is the Creators Club Let's Play and I probably think that's with Matt anyway. So yeah that's what's coming up on the Railfan TV guys. I will link that down below for you guys as well. But let's crack on and let's have a look at the article. So again, the Lazen <coughs> to Cersei Sir, Sir, introduction of the SBB RABE 523EMU. So Rivet Games, S-Bahn, uh, I am not pronouncing that because I cannot speak German. The Lazen to Suri is coming soon to Train Simulator 2 and the feature features the SBB RABE 523EMU. Find out more information about this impressive modern unit. So, the SBBA RABE 523 is the electric multiple unit that belongs to the family of flirt trains. The flirt train sets are equipped with low floor entrances, air suspension, and known for their fast acceleration and high braking power, as well as their low weight. As I say, guys, we do have flirt trains in the UK as well, so. And there's a there's a, a picture of a flirt train coming in the uh, looks like in the depot. So the abbreviation flirt stands for fast, light, intercity, and regional train. German uh, flirt flicker lechenta intercity un regional tread uh, treadenberg. Apologies for for made a complete cock about that. Used for regional and local passenger services, they were originally developed by the Swiss Federal Railways, but due to its success, and many other operators around the globe order versions too. The first flirt was delivered in 2004 for the use on the Stadbahn Zurg, which is the S-Bahn style network in Zurg, Switzerland, and part of the S-Bahn, um, yeah, that word, I'm not going to pronounce that word. And there you go, there's another couple of pictures of the flirt trains. The Swiss versions are usually made up with four cars, with two cab cars and two middle cars per set. The only two Jacob bogies at both ends of the tr um, of um, sorry. Both ends of each train are powered. They feature 20 first class seats and 161 second class seats. So that's what it looks like inside, in the interior, in that picture. Trains, right, here we go. Train Simulator 2 version of the SBBRABE 523 is also equipped with ETCS, European Train Control System, which features in Train Simulator 2 for the first time, whilst there are four levels of ETCS. Rivet Games SBBRAB523 is fitted with two, level 0 and level 1, limited supervision. 
When driving in level zero, the ETCS is only monitoring the speed limit and force slows you down in an event of speeding. And the system will only monitor you if you're traveling over 100 kph. Level one of this system features a limited supervision functionality, which is the L1 LS, only provides supervision along the line when needed, meaning that you will have to be fully observant of the track as new information, new information can be given throughout the signals. Whilst they aren't available in the cab with the East ETCS just yet, River Games implemented the ETCS will allow a true to life experience with the ETCS on one of the Switzerland's busiest routes. So yeah, <coughs> the um, Luzon to Surrey uh, route arrives in Train Sim World 2 on the 24th of March for Xbox One, Xbox 3, X, and S, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Epic Games Store, and Steam. So there we go. So you got Harlem Line arriving on the 17th of March, and then you've also got the Luzon to Surrey arriving on the 24th of March. Don't forget, guys, there is a preview stream of the Le Zen to Suri on Friday the 18th of March 2020. So don't forget to go over there and have a look at that on the Train Sim Later channel. So yeah, I will link this article down below, guys, because this is all to do with the SBBRABE 523 electrical multiple unit. So yeah, I thought I'd just show that article to you. But... On with the main um, thing of what we're doing today. So, we're back in Creators Club again. Oh yeah, and guys, if there's any um, scenarios or liveries or anything you want me to look at in Creators Club, put them down in the comments down below and I will have a look at them. So, the route, one we're doing today is the OZ20 Route Refresher by Hentis. So, the content overview. Good morning, driver. Route refresher for you today between Brighton and Seaford. Scenario requirements. East Coastway and Tees Valley. So, the route's based on the East Coastway, guys. To run the Class 20, you need to have Tees Valley to run the Class 20 as well. And the Class 20 DLC. And the Class 313. You will need the Class 313 um, DLC as well. So content needed from Creators Club and it's his own work is the one class 66587 GB rail freight and the class 66783. Just going to say there it's uh, 873 not um, 783. Just letting you know. And also the Torag, no the Torax JN wagons. You should be able to search all of the content via file names. Hope you enjoy. Maximum speed of this is 60 miles an hour. So let me just check in Hentis's thing to see. Because I've um, downloaded a couple of things. Yeah, I can't find the um, JN, the JNA wagons, but uh, the Torax JNA wagons. Let me just go and have a look in this search. Uh, Tornax. Come on, thank you. Yeah, just have another look in the surge bar quickly. There we go, got that typed in. Let's just flick over to the scenarios and flick over to the liveries. There we go, they're the uh, they're the wagons we need so we'll subscribe and download those as well so yeah we've got everything we need for that scenario so the scenario we're doing is zero zulu 20. so yeah you've just seen the wagons you need this is the skin you need guys the biffa 66783 flying dustman and you also need when it lets me. You also need this livery here. The 
the one class 66587 is the one you need. So they're the two liveries you need as well to run the scenario. So let's go and have a look at it on the East Coast way. And yeah, the class 20 guys I bought yesterday. So if you head over to my YouTube channel, which if you're watching this on the Twitch, the link to the YouTube's in the description. But yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, go and have a look at the class 20 DLC thing I am. Um, did. So the OZ20 root refresher. So what do you need? You need the class 20 DLC, the 3774S that comes with the East Coast rate anyway. The class 313 slash 2, so you need that livery. Livery, that DLC, sorry. And the class 66 EWS. So drive a RF, so that's rail freight class 20 times 2 light engine from Brighton platform 8 to Seaford platform 2 non-stop. This is an off the rails scenario. So yeah, I will link down below guys. Um, that's a really nice picture. I really like that. With a class 52, 47 and 150s. Really nice. Yeah, as I was saying guys, the DLCs you need. Class 20, East Coast Way. Class 313 and I think yeah, the 377 and the 66 come with this route anyway. So there we go. That's a really nice picture on the North Trans Pennine. Really nice. Right, here we are on the HRR RF20s. So we are here at Brighton. I like the horn. So who have we got at the helm? We have 2104 at the helm. Who do we have on the rear? 2112. Right, let's get set up, shall we? So we need the master, no, not throttle. Oh no, master key in. We will need some lights. Some instrument lights. That should do on the front now, shouldn't it? Right, why are my lights not even working now? That's where, because I've uh... Okay, that's weird. My lights don't seem to be working on the class 20. Weird. But my instrument lights are working. Hang on, let's just check the fuse box a second. I believe I've just made a booby. Yep, I've uh, shut down uh, the engine by mistake. No, we're fixed. Okay, we're just going to have to run the scenario with uh, broken lights then. That's probably something on my end anyway with the broken lights. Hey, 
Hang on. I'm on the correct end. Ah. I've just realised something. I was in the wrong bloody... Ah. I was in the wrong cab, wasn't I? Sorry, not the wrong cab, the wrong bloody side. What a bloody moron. Right, let's get in this side, that'll be better. Well, that was like a good bloody style one now. There we go, the lights are actually working now. Apologies for any FPS loss here, guys. I'm just going to take a screenshot. I'll take one on the back as well, a screenshot. And there's the 377. Right, off we go. So after the faffing about with uh, being on the wrong side. We're not going to get any power. There we go, we're moving now. Right, I've got a brake on somewhere. That's kind of worrying. Control switch normal. That's normal. Right, we will get there in a second. Right, there we go. So yeah, we're only travelling 11 miles to uh, Seaford.
So yeah, after all that predicament of uh, starting in the wrong cab, well, starting on the wrong side of the cab, and then next minute leaving all the brakes on, since we've now got moving, it's a lot better. Got some air breathing room now. Soon should be able to go 55. Alright, we're blasting through London Road, Moors, Coolm and Falmer. Hopefully we should see the uh, 66 liveries on the way as well. So yeah, this train guys is 11.99 on uh, Xbox, Playstation, Steam and And yeah, the class 313 is 11.99 and as my ones, M, M, Xbox, PlayStation, Steam and Epic. The East Coastway is 24.99 on PlayStation, Xbox, Steam and Epic. Oh, we just forgot something as well. Oops, down here, forgot to put the AWS on. What a dingbat. Do there was something I forgot. As I say, thinking, it seems very quiet. So this scenario guys is made by Hentis over on the uh, Creators Club. So yeah, go and give Hentis some love, download his scenarios, download his liveries, or their liveries shall we say. So hopefully Yeah, so hopefully I should be able to show off um, some of his liveries, like the 266s, hopefully. Yeah, 
Yeah, we've just gone through London Road at Moorscombe and Falmer. We're now heading towards uh, But it's nice, guys, to have the Class 20 on a different route. When I first looked at this, <coughs> first looked at this DLC, uh, the Class 20, I had it running on the Tees Valley line, so, I, so it's nice to have it on a different route, as I've just said. Actually, stretch the class 20's lengths as well. We're over 9.3 miles away from Seaford. some brakes so it can slow down to the 55. Yeah this is just a um, well kind of a route learning a sort of scenario between Brighton and Seaford. Seven. Yeah, we're under the fifty-five. I'm also slowing down slowly because I've got a yellow light coming up as well. about 10 miles an hour as well. So this next one's probably going to be a singular yellow and then it'll be a red. Just nice to drive something different, some class twenties. Yeah, all I've got left to buy, guys, are for um, train sim. The British stuff is the BR class fifty two. That's the maroon one, guys, and not the blue one. And I've also got the 1938 stock to buy. And then that's it, really. That's all the British DLC, and then I've got every single British DLC out for Train Team World 2. A bit of um, <coughs> bit of welly through the uh, 
nothing. So from what I've seen on pictures and everything, when I looked at the Rooting Creators Club I saw pictures of a Class 66 at uh, Lewis. I'm not sure if that's actually uh, true. But we'll have a look as we go through uh, Lewis. See any uh, sixty sixes there? Have a look at the aggregates depot as we go down the Seaford branch then. Right, off we go. Got 7.8 miles to go to Seaford now. Cruise at 40 for a bit. We're going off this branch and going out off onto the Seaford branch. Yeah, there's a branch that go well go straight on guys goes to um, Thank you. Goes to Eastbourne. Okay, we got a red signal. had a bit of a panic moment then. There we go. So we're on the Seaford branch now. There's the one livery. There it goes, and there's those wagons that the uh, person was talking about as well. <coughs> so yeah, if you got a quick glimpse of that guys, that was the one, cla one livery class 66. And the wagons as well. So yeah, I know they were whizzing past and I couldn't do anything about that but as soon as I saw it I was like, Addy. there you go. <laughs> so 
So that means probably a 66 has probably gone into the aggregate shard there. Which is between the South Ease and New Haven Town. There's just one cab light in here. Okie dokie. Five point five miles to go. And then we'll get to Seaford. Right, sorry about that. Might have to disappear again, guys, if the uh, noise goes off again. So yeah, if I do have to nip off again, guys, uh, and you're watching this on YouTube and. Uh, my stream decides to end, or video decides to end, feel free to hit the subscribe button, feel free to hit the notification bell guys on YouTube, and uh, feel free to the like and share button as well. And also, uh, I'll link below guys, Twitch, Discord, Train Simulator 2 down below, Discord down below, yeah I've said that already, East Coast Way down below, Tra Class 20 down below, Class 313 down below, and yeah, I'll link all that down below. Hello Snickle. Hope you are well. Yes, yeah, just in case I have to dart off again guys, I must video stream to the to end, that's why I thought I'd just say all that information.
Yeah, we've got 3.9 miles left to go. And what are you doing? Yeah, there's the train we've got at the helm, guys. Two class 20s. We uh, are not punning anything at all. We're just uh well, we're just route refreshing. And this is made by Hintis on the Creators Club, guys. Let's slow down to 35. Have I tried Eldering yet? Nope, uh, I don't even own Eldering, sadly. Okay, this should be the other class 66. Okay, that's the EWS class 66. Okay. Yeah, ignore that nightbot message that's just come up, guys. That is um, not correct. Right, we're going through New Haven town. We've got New Haven Harbour. Okay, we've got a red light at New Haven Harbour. Interesting. Take it, Snickle. You tried Elder Ring then. There he is. That's the train we were waiting for. Right, let's go down to Seaford. Oh, okay. I'll take it you play it um, via PlayStation or PC then, uh, Snickle. Right, final part.
Oh, okay. Well, I'm not on the Xbox Series S or X at the moment. I'm only on the gem below. So if Elder Ring was on the Xbox Game Pass, that would be brilliant, but it's not on the Xbox Game Pass, so I'm kind of having to... trip I've had on this uh, not sure sorry that beeping noise guys is the fire alarm just outside my uh, door You wish it was on Game Pass 2. Well, hopefully it does become on Game Pass, hopefully, because if it does, I will play it. If it doesn't, kind of stuffed really. That's really... I might land up deraining here if I'm not careful. There we go. And then we come to Seaford. There we go. Job done. So that's uh, HRRF 20s over and done with. So yeah, I'll show you this one on the uh, Creators Club guys and then I'm going to leave it there for today. Apologies, it's a short stream, but I just don't want you guys listening to the fire alarm constantly. Right, so into a creators club when it loads up. Here we are. So what you need is subscriptions, well I need subscriptions, but you can subscribe to this route guys. Uh, when it decides to let me, thank you. So the route we just did was this one, no not that one, sorry. So the 0Z20 route refresher and there's a description, but you will need guys a class 1, class 66587 and 66783. So you'll need this one. You will need this one, and you will also need these wagons as well. But there we go. And that, well, as I say, guys, I will link my train simulator to East Coast Way, Class 20, Class 313 down below, and I'll also link the Ralph Fan TV thing down below, and I'll also link the Le Zen to Surrey article down below as well, guys. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Okay. Sorry guys, stay safe and I'll catch you next time.